Next up, it is the arms of the Wing Gundam EW kit, which I'm about to build right now. One of the uh, interesting parts of this arm, obviously, is the shoulder, which we'll cover at the end of this assembly. So let me just get the instructions ready here, and then we will proceed. First up, it is these parts, which... Uh, which are going to get the orientation right. Give me a second here. There we go. And for those of you who say what I uh, asked me a question before, yes, I read from the manual, so shut up. Alright, so we'll take this part first. It's already been pre built with the uh, poly cap in there. I want to get. This guy, like the, uh, this part here, and uh, before I put him in, there we go. I'm gonna get to put this power cap in there. There we go. Nice and tight. So, in this position, like the the, for, the bottom part of the forearm, and um, I get the poly cap for the the hand as a joint, and then this part here. Seal it up nice. Alright, so that's done. Now, be careful with this part. You want to make sure, as you can see, this part, this side of the part is different from this side, so you want to put it like this here in the part where the uh, joint actually bends in. And don't apply too much pressure on if. If you feel a little resistance, verify that you're putting in the right part correctly in there. There we go. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. Then we got this part here that holds this into place. Now take the yellow trim that goes around the poly cap. And then using the blue, this blue part here, this locks in that part into place. Like so. Now, of course, this little ugly thing is driving me nuts, and I don't know why it is until you look at the manual and it tells you what you got to do. You take this blue trim part here, and this. Put it together. Make sure it slides into place. And then, of course, I got the uh, clear part here that I've. Uh, I mean, I got to trim off. I have to shave off a little bit of the plastic. There we go. I get another one here. Give me a second. a little, little notch right there you want to slide that part into place this may have these two parts may need to be glued in as you can see all right so take the arm oh, good it's there I slide that in goes in nice Now the uh, blade. There's this part here. And according to this, you want to put it where the blades are like this. There we go. 
So it looks like that. As I'm reading the instructions clearly. Let me take this part here. We turn it around like that. Come in. See? And then it goes into this. Like so. It's supposed to go like that in flight mode, I guess, and that, like that. The hand is pretty cool, pretty easy to, to build right there. You see? Now, this was tricky. And I might have to redo another paint job here because uh, I don't know how this came out like this. But the, the, the red part came out well. Before I put the top part, this part has to go in. Be very careful on how it slides in. It's I had trouble with the other one, so be careful. And then we have this part. You can't go wrong with this one because one peg on one at the top is bigger than the other. So they'll slide in good like that. And then you take these two parts, the white top part and the yellow trim part, put it in. Check that out. That came out really nice. And then it goes over this, like so. You see that it's a little weird. The one part of the glossy, the one's flat. I'm going to see what I can do to tr maybe sand it down, and I'm going to give it a, a gloss coat. That should cover up the problem. Also, I may have to repaint uh, the this part because this part should have been charcoal gray, but that's an, that's an easy fix. So, <clears throat> as you can see, both arms of the Wing Gundam kit are done. Let's move on to the next part. Now we'll move on to the waste unit of the Gundam Wing EW kit. There's a lot of parts here. As you can see, the torso inner frame is already pre-built, so there's no reason for me to build it after painting. That's why I did this. So first things first, we'll work with these two. And um, let's see now. Uh -huh. I do know for a fact that when you airbrush parts, the pegs and the holes will have a tendency of having an excessive amount of paint, thus causing friction. This was uh, actually brought to my attention by CrapMonkey99. Thanks for uh, sharing that information. I tend to, I have a tendency of forgetting that, so. So let's see what happens now. Oh, good. Slides in nice. I would rather have the friction because that way I know it will never come off. So the so the back part is done. Um then I think we take this. Take this and put it back here. Let me line it up properly, okay. And I gotta take this part, which I have to now take the black trim. In what position this has to be? Oh, Oops. okay, it has to have 
that little notch like that, and then you slide it up. There we go. And that line is there for, I guess, holding a weapon or a shield or some sort. Who knows? We'll soon figure that out. Soon enough. So that part is that side of the I mean the back side of the waste unit is done. So now let's work on the forward. Oh, by the way, maybe if no one realizes this, I'm not following the manual. Because in the manual it states that after you build the arms, you have to build the wings. I kinda said to myself, you know what, let me do the body first. At least I know I can get that done, and then I'll do the wings. <laughs> Let me do the other one. <laughs> Alright. So, this one goes here. Good. <laughs> and this one goes over here. Excellent. Now the next part here is the front crotch and then the red trim, which I have to, obviously you can see that that part like that, you know, you can't go wrong how you want to put it in, so it goes in like that. And then you carefully position the waist parts here. In here, this I don't think you have to worry about the friction. You'll definitely want it if you don't want it to flop around a bit once you paint it. And then you close it up. Yeah, that, that closed up pretty good. Now one part that of course they don't cover, where did that part come from, is the fact that this one, you want to do the side armor, but that's like in a couple of pages in. I can do this now. It's fairly simple. Just take these two parts here. And then this one. I mean, I could probably be shooting myself in the foot right now. They probably did this later, so then after you put the legs in, then you put these on. Well, it doesn't hurt to put them on now, and then you can remove them later on. Because it is a polycap joint right here. So that one goes over here. And uh, this one goes over here. That came up really damn good. Check that out. All right. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, next up, it's going to be the legs for the Wing Gundam EW kit. And as you can see, everything is all pre-built with the uh, inner frame, which came out pretty good. Many of you may complain maybe it was not a good idea to um, paint the inner frame since it's not going to be seen. That is true. However, you, I don't want to take that chance, and we'll uh, go over that in a few moments. First things first, we're going to work with the leg uh, with the feet. Now, you will probably, if you look at this, you probably say, "Oh, okay, I'll just put this on and then put that over." No, don't do that. The instructions insist that you have to put these two parts together first before putting it on the frame. And these pegs here will slide up to here, so as you can see. There we go. 
Okay, man, all right. 